Hello and welcome to ASL Storytime. ASL, or American Sign Language, is a primary sign language of deaf communities in the United States and parts of Canada. To speak American Sign Language, you don't use words that you speak out loud like you would if you were speaking in languages like English or Spanish. Instead, you use your hands and facial expressions to speak in ASL. Today, we're going to read a story called Bear Wants More by Karma Wilson. But first, let's learn how to say some of the words that are in the story in American Sign Language. Are you ready? The first word we're going to learn is bear. This is how to sign bear in ASL. First, cross your arms over your chest. Then make your hands into claws and claw your chest twice, just like Miss Amber is doing in the video. Can you do it? Cross and claw two times. Good job, you're saying bear in ASL. The next sign we're going to learn is for the word want. To do this sign, you have to make your hands into claws again. Put your hands palm up in front of you, then make them into claws and pull your hands back toward your body. Give it a try. Good job, let's learn our next sign. This sign is for the word more. For this sign, you bring all your fingers on each hand together to touch your thumbs. Then you bring your hands together and make your fingers touch, then pull them apart. Do this a few times and you'll say more in American Sign Language. You're doing great. Okay, this is the last sign we're going to learn today, and it's for the word eat, which is a very good word to know. To say eat in ASL, you'll take one hand and hold it the same way you did to say more, with all your fingers touching your thumb. Have you got it? Okay. Now, to finish the sign, you're going to touch that hand to your mouth and tap it a couple times, just like Miss Amber's doing in the video. Try it. Good job. Okay, everyone, so you've learned how to say bear, want, more, and eat. You've done an awesome job learning these signs. Now, it's time to listen to the story. When you hear one of the words we just learned, try to do the sign for it so we can practice together. All right, friends, so today we're going to be reading the story Bear Wants More by Karma Wilson. Now remember the signs that we learned earlier in the program. Miss Amber is going to be doing the signs to the words that we learned, bear, wants, more, and the word eat. Awesome. So make sure to watch out for those words as we read through the story. When springtime comes in his warm winter den, a bear wakes up very hungry and thin. He waddles outside and roots all around. He digs and he paws fresh shoots from the ground. He nibbles on his lawn till the last blade is gone. But the bear wants more. Mouse scampers by with his acorn pail. Come along, Mouse squeaks, to Strawberry Vale. So up Mouse hops onto Bear's big back. They tromp through the woods for a fresh fruit snack. The berries grow sweet and they eat, eat, eat. But the bear wants more. The noon sun glows when a long hops hair. Good day, friend Mouse. How do, friend Bear? I'm hungry, roars Bear. Hare says, follow me. There's a fresh clover patch by the cottonwood tree. They nibble on their lunch with a crunch, 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 but the bear wants more. Badger shuffles by with his new fishing pole. There's a fine fish feast right at the old fishing hole. They head to the pond and they sit by the shore. Bear catches fish, but he still wants more. Meanwhile, back at the big bear's den, wait gopher and mole with raven and wren. They bake honey cakes, they decorate the lair. It's a springtime party for their good friend, Bear. Bear rubs at his tummy. He smells something yummy and he still wants more. Bear sniffs and he snuffles as a sweet breeze blows. He romps to his home, he follows his nose. His friends yell surprise when he gets to his den. 
but Bear is so big that he can't fit in. Bear wails, what luck. I am stuck, stuck, stuck in my own front door. Mouse squeaks, poor bear. He is wedged too tight. Hair tugs or even pushes with all of their might. Badger gets his stick and he pries so hard that bear pops out and he lands in his yard. Since bear is so wide, they party outside and he still wants more. Bear opens presents, he gobbles honey cakes, he eats so much that his big tummy aches. He snuggles in the grass and he snores big snores. He is full, 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 but his friends want more. The end. Good job, everybody. Mm.